Wow, that's an epic view right there. Is it? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna conquer everything. <laughs> What is going on guys? We have a brand new project for you today that we are really excited about. We've been wanting to do this for over two years now. Basically, ever since we did the first amphibious go-kart, which was a mixed success, we've wanted to do a completely different amphibious vehicle design. So what we have for you today is tank boat. We are taking a dinghy, a small worn out dinghy, and basically putting tank tracks on it for the ultimate on and off-road and water vehicle. The reason why we chose tank boat is because the first amphibious vehicle we made couldn't get out of the water on its own up the boat ramp. So did some brainstorming, came up with uh, like a tank tracks on a go-kart. So when the front end of the vehicle hits the boat ramp, it will actually have something to grab onto and pull out. So we chose an old, old rotten dinghy because it's an old rotten thing and no one wants it. We got these tires for free. They're used tractor tires uh, and they're like almost four feet tall. And the plan is to cut the sidewall out so we can lay them down to make tank tracks. We're actually gonna be putting an open differential on this project and we're gonna be putting a brake on each side and we're gonna engage the brake to uh, stop each track and to effectively turn. This will be a one wheel peel project, but we think that because this tank track is gonna have so much like surface area, we're not gonna have any problems with it tracking crooked or anything like that. It should track perfectly straight, except, perfectly straight. Except in the water. <laughs> except in the water where we're gonna have to alternate to get it to go straight, kind of like paddling a kayak or a canoe. So with all that being said, we are gonna be doing tank boat in two phases. The first one is just gonna have big old like 18 inch off-road go-kart tires on it with a caster uh, on the rear, uh, just as a kind of see what happens. And then phase two is where we're gonna run a second axle and put tank tracks on it. Parts for phase one of this project include used tractor tires, an open differential, which you can find at a link in the description from Amazon, a Predator 212cc engine. We're gonna leave it stock and remove the governor. Uh, we're gonna be using an engine plate, an axle, a sprocket, and brakes from gopowersports.com and a 30 series torque converter to give us plenty of torque because this is gonna be a heavy contraption and six and a half horsepower is not a lot. I have my doubts personally, but Ike is very confident. Have you seen the video with a four wheel drive truck powered by a six and a half horse inch? I have. Okay. You yeah. think this is heavier than a pickup truck? Probably not, chassis? not yet. It's not full of water yet. Nah. And these used tires we picked up from a tire store. They were just hanging out in the back and the guy recognized us from the Velocity channel and he gave them to us for free. So in this case, we need to use a sprocket that's compatible with the differential. We can't just use whatever we want. And that's gonna be kind of... Kind of compatible, yeah. So that's as far down as we can go. I don't know where it is in relation to that. Whose bright idea was this anyway? This one was all yours, man. We kind of sat around and talked more, and there's just a lot of thinking that has to go into this one just because it's so weird and went off and just custom. We may end up putting like 14 or 15 inch car rims on it just so we can get the tracks a little taller, just so we can get ground clearance and it'll still propel itself. So I have this one inch Schedule 40 pipe that I'm going to cut about 12 inches out of so we can make a sleeve to run the front axle. So here's the diff, the open diff. One side is going to slide on like that, and the other side of uh, an axle is going to go in there. That's how we're going to make it, however long we need it. I mean, my concern, I know you keep saying gear. Axle in. flex? Oh, oh goodness, man. I didn't even think about axle flex. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about that, man. Oh, what I say? It needs to be 81 inches. 16 inches out the side. Let's check this out. It's exactly 16 inches, and I don't know, that differential is going to be going into the side of the boat. So there are a lot of moving parts going into this design. There are a lot of different ways to do it, but we think we found the best way to do it. And that's just drilling holes and seeing what's happening. Yeah, I mean, sitting around and talking about it ain't getting anything accomplished. So we're going to have to just do it to it. Yeah. We decided that we think we're gonna use something like a Volkswagen Beetle wheel, uh, like 15 inches in diameter. So it'll give us better ground clearance and we'll have more of the, the tread sticking out of the water because 
the lower we mount the treads, the more ground clearance we're gonna have, which is gonna be good for on-road performance, but the lower the treads are gonna sit in the water. And if the treads are completely underwater, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna kind of make a circle and like the bottom's gonna be pushing where we wanna go and the top is gonna be pushing where we don't wanna go. It's not gonna do anything. So we really just need a sweet spot. We need a good amount of ground clearance and we need to make sure the top of the track is out of the water. You look real confident. I just hope that this is going to be straight. All the way through? Yeah, it is. Congratulations, sir. I just ruined, ruined the boat. The boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's one hole, there's the other. Look at that. I need to do some trimming on this end. You sure do. No! Oh, no. Don't move. Look what I caught. Congrats, man. Thanks. Do you think this thing's going to sink? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. There she is. All right, what you got there? Dude, it fits like a glove. You did a great job. And what surprised me more is uh, this Go Power Sports sprocket fit right on this differential, you know, once we got the holes drilled out. The center portion that's supposed to center up the sprocket fits perfect. Oh yeah. Which helps with the alignment. Yeah, there's it's no great. wobble at all. Nope. So engine's gonna be somewhere there. Nope. Or scoot it over gotta, more. We gotta have room. Right, so it just needs to scoot over a little more. <laughs> Torque converter would be right there. We'd be mighty close. Ooh, yeah, very close. We might need to trim the cooler a little we bit. Could, yeah. But we gotta have room to adjust. Yep. So, if I'm not mistaken, when we put the torque converter on, it's gonna come forward. Yes. And won't the sprocket be somewhere? Um, or yes. It's, it's going to be along here somewhere. Yeah. So that's about where we're going to be at. Mm -hmm. I'll get the other axle in and just kind of hold it. Yeah. And we'll measure that side versus the other side. And we'll probably have to trim off some more off the other one. Okay. Bam! Dude, it's looking more and more legit. Look I know. Yeah. We just snatched the wheels and tires off of the 420cc Murray because they're a couple inches taller than our other ones. Yeah, I mean, so let's check it out. We're, we're hoping that they're gonna, it's gonna lift the boat off the ground. All right. It should, it should work. Tank boat. Wow, that's an epic view right there. It's a what? It's just an epic looking angle right here. Is it? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna conquer everything. <laughs> so we decided we're gonna do tank boat in a couple of phases. The first phase is just gonna be with these tires and a caster on the rear. rear. Yeah, so it's not actually gonna be a tank. It'll be like a zero turn. But yeah. I bet you we can get this thing to spin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it still should go like in and out of the water. It'll be an amphibious vehicle. Yeah, just not quite a tank. Just not quite a tank yet. We're still going to be fitting these to it, but in another phase. Yeah. And I really want to know if those wheels are going to propel this boat, and I think they will. I think so, too. It'll be like a, uh, a paddle, paddle wheel. wheel. I made a bracket and welded a caster wheel to it, and that's what we're going to use uh, for a rear wheel. I just packed some new grease in it, and we're going to drill some holes in it so we can uh, put some wood screws in the back of the boat. We went to mount the caster back here and we assumed there'd be some kind of board or piece of wood we could drill into. There is not. So, cut an access hole in uh, below the seat and it's full of foam. 
you're really just you're going to town there. Remember how it felt really heavy? Yeah. Well, I, I think the foam is full of water. So that's why tank boat is so heavy. The foam is full of water. Yep, it's all moist and sticky. Yep. So we scooped all the foam that we needed out and we're about to put a two by four in so we can drill into it and the, the bolts will go in there. Yeah. So we're using the, the for test and purposes only spacing block from the drag mini bike. Darn good, man. And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Just us. Yeah, no, I, I've just been looking forward to it. <laughs> We're gonna silicone the crap out of this thing. Uh, we don't want the silicone to stick to this bearing. Oh, that's right. So you wipe a little bit of grease on it, and when the silicone gets in there, when we go to drive it, it's not gonna mess up the silicone. Okay, It'll good. just spin. And so, what kind of caulk did we get, buddy? Tub and towel. <laughs> it's my favorite. Oh, you weren't kidding, man. She can't be taken on water now. Kind of reminds me of like, yeah, you know marshmallow fluff you can buy and like make sandwiches out of. Yeah. Oh, reminds me I of don't that. like that stuff. Oh. Smells kind of like paint. Look at that. There's that one. We're getting all kinds of silicone just smushed through here. Really good. My side? Yep. Oh, it's so silly. Whew. Wheels are back on. I think we have a roller. It rolls, man. Tank boat phase one. I think it's perfect, dude. It's been kind of a long day today. Uh, there was a lot of fighting we had to do. It seems like every step we took forward had to take two steps back. Um, but, I mean, it might be waterproof. I don't know. But we have a ton of uh, tub and tile caulk in it. <laughs> And uh, so probably tomorrow or the next day, next time we see you, we're going to be uh, welding the axle on, the engine mount, and stuff like that. That's all we have time for in this video, guys. Uh, we're in a little bit of a bind because I dropped the hard drive, but I've taken measures to make sure that it won't happen again. Uh, we got an axle through the boat. We have a rear caster on. So, I mean, all we really need to do is uh, mount the engine, hook up chains, and go for a ride with Tank Boat 1.0. What is that? Silicone. Oh, silicone. Oh, how's that doing? It's drying. It's drying. Not dry yet. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, guys, and let us know in the comments what you think of Tank Boat. I think we need, like, the, you know, a whole, not a mural on the side, but, like, it'd be cool to USS cars and cameras or something. I'm, I'm down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I wish I could say I was very confident after what we just did today, but uh, I'm not, if I'm honest with you. And there's only one way to find out how this is going to turn out, and that's to just, you know, full steam ahead, dude, ramming speed. Absolutely. And, dude, it would have been so much easier if this thing had straight sides, but it's got curves. It's a V -bomb. Upon curves, yep. upon curves, and it just made things way hard. It would have been nice if it was higher up off the ground. Yeah. But we, we checked the level of the water, and we have to have the tracks above water for it to be propelled. Mm -hmm. We would have put this thing way on down where it was, like, all jacked up in the air, when we launched it, it wouldn't have gone anywhere. Right. So. Yep. I'd rather go fast in water than on land. Yep, same dude. Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for sneak peeks. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine, matey. Yeah. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget, Go Power Sports CC10 for 10% off. Support the channel by picking up some stickers and shirts at cars-cameras.com. 
We'll see you next time. Tub and towel. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I mean, it, it's like this. It's yeah. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, we're, we're building an inverse we're, tub. We're gonna take a bath in this thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> big time.